Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to math. Lately, we've been covering some proofs. Okay. Today, we're not going to really do proofs as much. Today, we're going to focus on another part of it, a part that you're already kind of familiar with, which is finding angles. So the first part of this concept is proving angles. Okay. Notice that you guys have already seen all three of these shapes, okay? You've seen a supplementary angle, a complementary angle, and then think of an hourglass, remember? Two adjacent angles, two congruent angles, they're always the same, right? They always equal the same amount because think of a mirror, they're the opposites, okay? Opposite from each other, if you fold it, it's identical. When it comes to, if you guys remember on the previous concept, to supplementary and complementary, both of these angles should equal 180, right? So angle 1 plus angle 2 should equal 180. You might ask yourself, how do you know it's a supplementary? If I cover this part here on the bottom, okay, if I if I were to get rid of this line here, let's say it disappeared, okay, it's a supplementary because it's cut into pieces, okay? The bottom one was also a supplementary when I had that line in there. So you have to, in a way, think outside the box in the sense that you have to figure out what kind of shape it makes, okay, or what kind of angles it makes in the future, because you guys start getting to that point where you might see a bunch of lines, you have to figure out what kind of angles, what kind of lines. But this one makes a supplementary angle. So we have angle one plus angle two equals 180. You guys remember, this is just the review, the first, the very basic stuff of it. Again, angle one plus angle two equals, you guys remember, 90 degrees, right? 90 degrees. For this third one, we didn't really get too much into it other than the angles are exactly the same. When you set it up into an equation, you set it up as angle one equals angle two. Okay? Because they're the same. They're identical. So this is something you have to get familiar with. Angle one plus angle two when it comes to supplementary equals 180. The same for complementary, angle 1 plus angle 2 equals 90. And then finally, for two adjacent angles, or, or congruent angles also, angle 1 equals angle 2. All right? This kind of covered last class. Today we're actually going to plug in numbers in there to solve for. But if you remember these rules, I guarantee you that today's concept will be very simple. Okay? So let's get started on the actual concept. All right, guys, so the first one is, if you look at this shape here, what kind of angle does it look like of the ones we already covered? If you look at it closely, if you could cover this piece here, wouldn't that look like a supplementary angle from the line up? It does, right? We also know that we're looking for angle one and angle two, because that's what we're looking for. It gives us the numbers. It also gives us that angle one, this angle here, okay, is 5x plus 5, okay? It tells us that the angle over here in the 2 is x minus 5. Obviously, in order to find the angles, we have to solve for x to plug it in, but in order to solve for that angle. Remember on the previous part, at the beginning of this concept, we have to find the value of x by combining them, right? And then equal them to 180, because that's the rule. We have 5x plus 5 plus the other problem, because remember, we're combining them together, x 
minus 5 equals 108. Now that we have that part, we can combine like terms. We know that if we combine 5x and x, we get 6x. The reason why, notice that they're on the same side of the equal sign. They don't have to alter the signs. Also, there's a 1 next to the x, imaginary. Okay, with visible. So 5 plus 1 is 6x. We can also combine the constant, numbers without a variable. So 5 and 5. Notice that one's positive and one's negative. 5 minus 5 is 0. So do we really need anything here? No, right? We can just bring down the rest of the equation. So 6x equals 180. Now that we have that, we can actually say that if we get rid of the 6 by dividing, right? This is the opposite of multiplication. We have x equals, how many times can say it's going to 18? We're not going to focus on the 0 right now. We're going to just drop the 0. 6 into 18 is 3, right? So 30 times. <clears throat> All right. Now that we have x equals 30, we can actually plug in 34 x, right? x here, and then x here. We can plug it into both x's. So we have x, or in this case, instead of x, we have 30 minus 5 equals 25. So we know angle 2 is 25 degrees. Here we have 5 times 30 plus 5. 30 times 5 is 150, plus 5 is 155 degrees. We can check it if we add 155 plus 25 to make sure it equals 180. So 155 plus 25 over 0, there's 1, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then bring down the 1 because there's nothing there. Look at that, it equals 180. So we, sh we know that angle 1 is 155 degrees, angle 2 is 25 degrees. Okay, and that's how you solve for angles when you have two equations. We're going to do one for uh, complementary now, just so we can all be on the same page. Okay, and then I'm going to do one for the bottom shape, the congruent angle one. So, make sure you have all this on your notes. If you need more time to write all this down, go ahead and pause the video. All right, so let's move on to the next part. All right, so here's the next example. We have a complementary, right? Complementary angles, which equals 90 degrees. So we know it equals 90 degrees. Now we have to find what each angle here equals. So we have 3x plus, because remember, they're both together. You have to combine them to equal 90. 6x plus 9. Now that we have written it all together, we can combine like terms. Again, 3 plus 6, 9x plus 9 equals 90. We have to get rid of the 9, minus 9, which is the opposite of plus 9. So we have 9x equals 81. Remember, we're solving for x in order to plug it in here on the equations to solve the angles. So we have to get rid of the 9. So the opposite of multiplication is division. So we have x equals 9. Now that we've found x, which is 9, we can actually plug it in back to the equations. We can plug it in x here, and we can plug it in x here. So we can say 
for the first one, we can say 3 times 9, which 3 times 9 is 27. So 27 degrees. So we found this angle. This angle is 27 degrees. For the bottom, we have 6 times 9 plus 9. 6 times 9 is 54 plus 9. We're looking at 63. 63 degrees. Again, we can find out if we plug it in. 63 plus 27, which 7 plus 3 is 10. Just bring the 1. So 3 times 3 and 6 is 9. So it does work out. Okay? Make sure you follow the rule. Remember, you have to combine them together to equal 90. And then the final one, make sure again you write everything down. And then we can start on the final one. All right, guys. So for the final one is a little different. Okay. For this one, remember the rule is to equal each other. So what we're going to do is it tells us that angle one equals 11x. Okay. Angle two equals 10x plus 10. So the way we set it up is we have 11x equals 10x plus 10. Don't forget the x. Again, the way we're going to combine them, this one's easier because, again, we already have a two-sided equation. We're going to move the 10 because we're going to move the 11 because of the whole balancing of equation. So we're going to subtract 10x, subtract 10x. We're left with 1x equals 10, right? If you want to put 1x, that's fine. I usually just put x because technically anything times 1 is just itself. So x, in a way, equals 10. Because if you were divided by 1, 1 can go to 10 10 times. So x equals 10. So we know that 11 times 10 is 110. 10 times 10 plus 10. So 10 times 10 is 100. 100 plus 10 is 110. Look at that. 110 on both sides. And that is how you do congruent angles, okay? On the worksheet today, or on the problems for today, you're gonna see a mixture of all three. You have to find which one's which, okay? Make sure you follow the rules. If you follow the rules, it is pretty simple, pretty self-explained, okay? If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask, okay? So as soon as you're done watching the video, send me your answers and I'll be waiting to hear from you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the assignment for today is we're going to do these six problems here. Notice that we have a few different shapes, which we already cover all three different shapes on the board today. Keep in mind that you have a supplementary, you have a supplementary with also a complementary in there, and then you have two adjacent angles. Remember of an hourglass? Think of an hourglass. Remember the angles, what they are. I'm not going to give you the answer, but think of an hourglass. That's all I'm going to say. So make sure as soon as you're done watching the video, you submit your answers of all six of these. Remember, here you're, you have the angle here, which is 57. Remember, you have to find the other side, okay? So, if this is 57, obviously you subtract it from a certain number, that is a supplementary angle. 
So you get this single here. The same here, it gives you five. You have to find six. Here it gives you one, you have to find number two. Here it gives you both, 13 and 14. You have to solve four. Again, you have to solve for x. And then here you have to give me all of the angles, which means number eight is already given to you. You have to find seven, eight, and nine. Hint, hint. What is this here? Okay. And then again, it gives you both. You have to solve for the x on them. This way you can find the measurement. So remember, as soon as you're done watching the video, submit your answers. I'll be waiting to hear from you.